Hello, friends. How do you pass the time on a plane? I'm sure many of you try to take a nap for at least an hour or two. That's exactly what the man of our story was planning on doing, until he was shocked by his accidental discovery. On August 27, 2007, Alan Gonzalez was on a flight from Mexico to Tokyo. Like all other passengers on that flight, he was woken up by turbulence. It only lasted a couple of minutes, but the man could no longer go back to sleep. After making sure that everything was fine, he looked out the window to see the view. There was a small, beautiful island below. Alan decided not to waste time and take a picture of it. The photo was taken from a long distance, so the quality wasn't great. The man adjusted the camera and zoomed in to get a clearer picture. After taking the picture, he zoomed in even more and was horrified to see a signal for help, which was clearly visible on the sand near the ocean. There was H-E-L-P written in the sand. Allen immediately turned to the representatives of the company operating the flight. The flight attendant looked at the picture and reported the situation to higher management. Subsequently, someone was sent to the island to confirm the information. The man flew over the island on a private plane and confirmed the discovery. The next step was to put together a rescue team that would find the lost people or person and get them off the island. However, the reality was quite different. The rescue team spent several hours trying to find signs of life on the island. They found various handmade tools made from improvised items. Then, the rescue team left the landing spot and went towards the place where the word help was supposedly written in the sand. Some time later, the rescuers reached their goal and were very surprised. Before them was a sign of an enormous size. It was laid out of stones. There were a total of over 250 stones there. It would be very surprising if it turned out that it was just one person who managed to do it, since all the stones were large and heavy, and the call for help occupied a large area of the beach. The search for people who could be living on the island didn't give any result. When the rescuers were ready to give up and leave the island, one of them saw a man in a tree. He seemed to be looking down from it. The man had a long beard and turned out to be dead. He didn't survive long enough to be rescued. It was also strange that there were no known wrecks or lost ships in that area for a long time. It was unclear where this man could have come from, what happened to him, and what caused him to get stranded on the island. Even more questions arose when the stones were studied closely. They were actually very heavy, so it was unlikely that one person could have moved even one such stone, let alone so many of them and over such a long distance. This man was never identified. The identity of the man is still unknown. His relatives were never found. And overall, there are a lot of questions that remain unanswered to this day. However, the man somehow managed to call for help, which means that he was expecting people to save him at some point. This excludes the possibility that he willingly stayed alone on the island, pointing to the man's connection to previous life in civilized society and his desire to go back to it. Apparently, the man ate berries and fruits, went fishing, and cooked everything he could obtain. Perhaps he just went crazy from being all alone all the time, this story shows that people should always pay attention to the world around them, even when simply flying over a deserted island. Apparently, there's a chance that there might be people stuck there, who are waiting to be rescued and dream of returning to their normal life. Unfortunately, this dream never came true for this particular man. <laughs>